Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you our first part in a series of videos to teach you how to play Lands of Gauzer. Now this will actually just probably be a two-part video. Uh, this first one was just one I wanted to get out real quick. I just got the game a week or two ago and I've seen a couple of posts in the uh, BGG forums, people asking how to do the initial setup, uh, partially some people just missing the welcoming letter that comes in the, in the game, and, and then partially people just wanting to see a visual representation of how to do it. So this video is just gonna be that initial setup, and then the video after that, after this, we'll go through the rule book and actually teach how to play the game as a whole, the you know the, the setup before each individual game and the gameplay and, and all that stuff. Before we get out of the table, I do want to mention our sponsor, StoneValleyGames.com. This is your friendly distant game store run by Eric and Wendy. They have so many great things over there. They've got the the new hotness, old classics. They've got everything from you know light family games all the way to super heavy. You know, take up your entire weekend or at least an entire day of your weekend, you know, strategy games. Lots of great stuff over there. They've got a loyalty program. So if you're a returning customer, there's a program for you to kind of get set up with that will reward that return business. If you're in the military and you're stationed overseas, they have an, uh, a program to provide free shipping to AA, AE, and AP addresses. So if you're in the military and you're overseas, you know what that means. Uh, you know, when I was stationed in Germany, it would have been fantastic to have someone who would ship for free just because I had that AE address. So lots of great stuff over there. Like I said, be sure to go check them out. There's a link in the description below. And now let's get down to the table and I'm gonna teach you how to set up Lands of Gauzer. The first thing you should do when preparing for your first game of Lands of Gauzer is take the adventure boards, the gold tile, or a gold uh, dial, I should say, matching the name of the adventurer, and the appropriate plastic pegs based off of what uh, it shows here for that adventurer on the welcome sheet. You'll attach the gold dial. And then again, based off the welcome sheet, put these pegs in their correct position and rotate this dial to 10 gold. And so when you're done, your adventures should look like this. As you begin sorting these cards and putting the dividers in, you can take all of these wrappers off of them. Take the triple zero divider, place it in one of the card dividers, and behind it will be all the cards numbered zero to 49. And you can see we've got another 49 here. Make sure they are placed in ascending order. There we go, that's zero to 49 behind that one so far. As you're placing them, make sure that the card numbers face forward and or at the top. Also, there will commonly be multiple cards with the same number. Here you can see there's two 049s. There's actually quite a few more of them in here as well. All right, now with brown divider 050, you'll place 050 through 099 behind it and keep using the brown dividers in sets of 50 numbers, which will be more than 50 cards, keep in mind. So 100 gets 100 to 150. 150 gets 150 to 199. 200 gets 200 to 249. 250 gets 250 to 299. And 300 gets the rest. The brown dividers and all the cards sorted behind them are referred to as the library. This purple divider is placed at the very front of the library. You'll then take cards 127 through 148, which are 22 cards in total, out of the library, shuffle them, and place them behind that purple divider. 
This block divider is placed behind the library. Take cards 296 to 299 out of the library, which will be eight total cards. Do not shuffle them, leave them in ascending order and place them behind the black divider. Take the other card tray and get the five teal dividers and place them in here. Any cards you place behind the teal dividers do not have to be in numerical order. Next, take all four 000, 000 cards and all four 111 cards. Each of these, both the 000 and the 111, will be associated with a particular adventurer. You'll find the appropriate adventurer divider and place these pair of cards where they go. Keep in mind that on these cards, the adventurer's icon is also next to the number. Take the 12-sided die and roll it. And take the rolled number. So in this case, card number 11. Out of the library. And place it behind the teal divider with the globe icon. Take cards 64 to 89 out of the library. This is 26 cards in total. And then shuffle the 12 that have the red back with the comet. Now place all 26 cards behind that same globe divider. Take the three frontmost cards from the purple divider and place them also behind the globe divider. And now you're ready for your very first play of Lands of Galzer. Also, I would like to mention, and it's possible you noticed this as you were placing these cards in to their, their appropriate places in the dividers, but there is some spots in the packages that were originally in here where the cards are not in ascending order that they are kind of mixed up a little bit so just keep an eye out for that and there you go that's how you set up lands of galzer for your very first play of the game don't worry that is only for the very first play all of that organization everything sort of maintains itself as you play through just based off of my uh my playthrough of the prototype that you can go back and watch if you want to this is one I'm super excited to get into, uh, as you can probably tell just by the fact that I kind of uh, I put the, made this video way faster than I do frequently with others after an unboxing. I kind of jumped to the front of the line because I just really, really want to get into this. So that's Lance of Galzer. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Be looking for, let's see, what are we, Waste Nights. We've got an instructional video for Waste Nights coming up. Nemo's War, Perdition's Mouth, Australia. Lots of fantastic stuff. And until next time, if you're bored online, board offline.